A new type of coronavirus has been spreading. So what does that mean and who's at risk? Anthony here for D News. The World Health Organization declared a recent outbreak of a new strain of coronavirus a threat to the entire world after a 65 year old French man died from it on Tuesday. Now that brings the number of deaths worldwide from the virus up to 27. The strain is called the novel coronavirus. Now coronaviruses infect the respiratory tract and sometimes the digestive system. They got their name from the fact that they have a little structure that looks like a crown on them when you look at them under a microscope. There are a ton of different species of the virus and it's thought that they account for anywhere up to 30% of all common colds. Now this new novel coronavirus is also from the same family of coronaviruses as SARS. The symptoms are shortness of breath, fever, coughing, difficulty breathing, and gastrointestinal problems. It can also cause pneumonia and kidney failure, just like SARS. Scientists aren't sure how humans first contracted this strain of the virus, but they know that it started in Saudi Arabia and then spread throughout the Middle East. Travelers then brought it back to Europe and the US where it has continued to spread. They're also currently unsure exactly how the virus does spread, but it's thought that it could be through coughing or sneezing or exposure to a contaminated environment. The infection has spread from some patients to their healthcare workers but we still don't know if casual contact alone can transmit it. It seems like it's harder to transmit than SARS so far, and there have only been 49 confirmed cases of it worldwide. There is a test for it, but there's currently no vaccine. So right now, we don't know a ton about this, and that WHO statement sounds pretty dire, but there aren't any travel warnings, either by the WHO or the CDC yet. The CDC did say that anyone who's traveled to the Middle East recently or is planning to should keep an eye on their health, and if they have any fever or respiratory issues, they should see their doctor right away. Away. And even though it might look like the virus has been ramping up if you've been watching the news, the WHO thinks that's probably due in part to increased awareness of the virus by the medical community and the media. Uh, we'll put information about the virus in the video description, and if you have any questions, let us know down below and subscribe for more D News.